okay sir so we have some other thing one more thing called account contract pricing what is other pricing that we have sir account on contract pricing pricing by seeing this name you can easily understand by seeing this name you can easily understand this price is available uh, applicable for account level sir particular account only for particular account for example my customer is there who is my customer ibm he is my regular customer okay if you take a regular customer who is a regular customer sir ibm so he is buying always uh, like a uh, product called uh, keyboard example he is buying always us keyboard okay for this customer for this product i want to give special price only for this product okay yeah. how we can achieve this functionality is by using account contract pricing so now by default what is the price for us keyboard pick one what is the price for us keyboard 10 or 20 ah 10 or 20 maybe 10 right sir <clears throat> this is for all the customers okay but for ibm customer what i have to do is I'll, i want to make it a 8 discount 8 dollars so how we can achieve this this is concept is account contract pricing understand sir so yes. where this object is there okay so this one directly you can go to the account object so first you can create one sample account any account for example i'll take account name is ibm account Account level. If you want to fix the, pr give the price. IBM account. Just click on save. So whenever you create account record, there is a one child object called account contract prices. What is the object name, sir? Contract at the prices. Prices. So here you can decide the price for this customer. For which product you can choose? What is the product name, sir? US keyboard. US keyboard. What is the price I want to decide for this one? Eight. So this is for which customer? IBM. IBM only. So effective date upon each upload sir. This is also twenty twenty second to uh, maybe twenty seventh. Or uh, you can choose whatever the date. Okay. This is only for this customer. Okay. You can use a price also, or you can apply discount also. Anything is fine. Or you can apply twenty percent discount. So twenty percent discount means what will come? Eight dollars. Eight. Eight. That's it. So this one we'll discuss. later now just we'll go with this one price okay. yes. or you can choose this one also you can use either this option sir or this option for example i want to apply discount like a product family equals to software something for all software products i want to apply some discount 20% discount you can apply but you cannot use both product and product information you cannot use both either you can use this option Or you can use this option. Either only one you can use. If you try to use both options, it will throw the error message. It will throw the error message. What is the error message? You cannot use. What is the error message? Why is it not showing error message? Not getting a message. You should get error message. Yeah, now we are getting error message. You may not specify you know, both, both product, product and, and filter. 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 So you can use either one. So now I'll go with the this one. I'll I'll use I will show this one later. Understand, sir? Okay. You can use either any one, not both. Click on save. I'm now I'm going for only US keyboard product. I want to fix the price. How much, sir? Eight dollars only for this customer. So now if you create a quote for this customer, see we'll see what will happen. What the price will come? So account is there. Then we can create opportunity sample opportunity. A positive is not mandatory. Just I'll, I'm creating. I have an opportunity. I'll give a close date equals to. Ah, uh, twenty fifth stage is customer asking quotation, right? That click a save. Now create quote for this customer. So in the quote we should set account name, sir. Otherwise, that the discount will not apply. Understand? Right. Quote level we should select the account which for which account you are creating. IBM. IBM account. IBM opportunity. That's it. Click on save.
So now, if we try to add US keyboard product, what is the price will come? Ten dollars or eight dollars? Eight. Eight. For IBM account only, not for other accounts. This is the US price book. Click set. Add products. But here it will show ten dollars. Once we are adding to the quote line, it will change. What is the product name, sir? US, US keyboard. Here, what is the price it is showing? It is for normal yeah. price only, but once you add into the quote line editor, quote line editor. it will show the price eight dollars. Right, sir? Like this. Yes. Why it is coming at us? Because that's that's where for this account only have give, I want to give the this special price. That is also have uh, uh, given some condition, right? Like when to when. Understand, sir? You can give the date also. Only e period matter me, I'll give this offer. Understand, sir? Yes. Go to uh, next week or 10 days. Or this is called what? Which pricing method? Account, content, Account pricing, pricing content. method. Uh, there is one more called option pricing method. Already you know, right? What is in the option level also you can give the price. Yes or no? Yes. What's the other price, sir? Option level pricing. What is the meaning of option level pricing? Is so if you are not giving price by default for options, how the price will come, sir? From the standalone product, right? Product level, whatever the price is there, that price right. will come. But if you want to override that price, if you want to override that uh, price, what you can do? Even in the option level, also you can override. There is uh, already we discussed that concept. Already we discussed that concept when we are discussing important fields in the future level, so option level. If you open any one existing option, hmm. so here also you can give the price, right, sir? If you yes, give the price, what will happen? A for paper price, whatever the price is there in the product level, it will override by this price. Maybe A for paper price is ten dollars, but if you give price here, what will happen, sir? In the option it level, will... this price only will come. But standalone product, that price will come. But option level, which price will come? Whatever the price, will price. Here, that price will come. You can give unit price or discount percentage. You can use anyone, either ten percent or discount, ten percent discount or one dollar amount or eight dollars amount, whatever you want. You can use any fields based on the requirement. So this is called what sir? Option level pricing. I see. So these are all like a pricing methods. Okay. So this is all important concepts in the pricing. Okay. I don't think.